So Glenn, Roy Hudson says you're going to play tomorrow night against Denmark. It'll be your 50th cap. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement. Um, you know, from a young age, your dream is to play for your country. And so obviously to reach the 50th cap is a very proud moment. And it's great for me and my family. Looking back to the first game that you played, that was also against Denmark. Just look back at, at those moments and, and your call up as well. Yeah, um, like I say, it's ironic that my debut is against Denmark. Hopefully tomorrow will be a different result. Um, but yeah, you've, obviously over the years you you have plenty of ups and downs. And but like I say, every time you're playing for your club, you're you're aiming to represent your country at the same time as well. So you always give it give it your all, for, no matter what shirt you got on. And down the years, what have been your highlights in an England shirt? Um, obviously representing your country in uh, major tournaments. Um, the Euros and the World Cup. Um, obviously, getting your first goal for your country always means a lot. Um, and like I say, you just you just genuinely enjoy it and try to not to get carried away with yourself because even from a young age, it's what you work hard to to achieve. That first goal you mentioned that came against Mexico um, about four years ago. What can you remember about that goal? Um, I just remember. Uh, I think I was playing uh, on the right with Theo at the time, um, and I remember just going on a run and you know things happen in certain ways that you just feel like you can keep going and keep going and and that's what I did and then I found myself on the edge of the box and caught my shot pretty well so bit of a trademark Glenn Johnson goal you seem to get a few of those for, for Liverpool as well yeah I always like to get forward and chip in and try and score the odd goal here and there so yes yeah, it's, it's always been a big part of my game uh, the attacking side of things um, Big year for England, obviously, World Cup coming up. Injury-wise, how are you feeling? And um, what would it mean to you to be included in that, that squad this summer? Yeah, injury-wise, uh, I'm getting there, getting my match fitness back now. I've, I've had a couple of weeks out where I had uh, two or three uh, niggly, niggly injuries. But like I said, I'm over them now, so now I'm concentrating on match fitness. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, to, to represent your country in a World Cup, it, it means everything. So um, that's definitely in the back of your mind every time you go out playing for your clubs. And you were involved four years ago in South Africa. What was that experience like being involved in an England squad away for so long? Yeah, it's like I say, it's what you dream to do. Um, of course, there's difficult moments when you go away from your normality for a long period of time, but it's part of the job and um, you have to knuckle down and concentrate on the reason why you're away. Um, but like I say, it's, it's fun at the same time and you're, you're living the dream basically. From a club point of view, it must be pretty good at the moment with um, so many Liverpool players around around the place. What's the secret at the moment, do you think? Um, I think just at the moment, everyone's pulling in the same direction. Everyone's willing to work hard and improve their own game. Um, and obviously, we've got two fantastic fantastic strikers that are scoring at will at the moment. So um, I think that hard work's paying off. And you'll be facing one probably tomorrow night. Um, Daniel Agger, what sort of qualities has he got and how difficult will it be for, for Daniel Sturridge? Yes, um, Danny's a, Daniel Agger's a great player and um, he's one of the best centre-halves that I've played with. Um, but hopefully tomorrow if Sturridge plays, then uh, he'll get the better of him tomorrow. And fast forward to, to June, when we come up against Uruguay, obviously someone's in that team that you're very familiar with, Luis Suarez, what will that be like to... To, to be able to play against him for a change? Yeah, he's a, another fantastic player. Um, they'll obviously have a good good squad, good starting eleven, and, and Louis is obviously going to be difficult to play against, but we've got some great players as well, so I'm sure we'll cause him as much problems as they uh, cause us.